All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, call hello, Yahweh Bashmi, Yahweh Shah, Bashmi, Rakat Kadash. Do honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who teach you well, peace, and infinite salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad, doing this work in truth and in sincerity, teaching the names of Yahweh Bashmi, Yahweh Shai, and prophesying against Mount Zir. From the brother of Paul Kabar from the Camp Company of Prophets here in Tampa, Florida. Coming at you with a quick lesson. And you see the the thumbnail, it says, the blood moon perim eclipse of March 25th will transpire at the, about the same time the devil comet becomes visible. All right, and we coming into the time of the Passover this Saturday at evening, which will be uh, March 23rd at, at evening, bring us into the, the Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And we got a lot of spiritual things taking place, signs in the heavens, and so on and so forth. But before I get that started, let me go ahead and play this video from Surviving Ed Times. Uh, this is uh, Dabu7. We got some good videos. So let me play this video real quick, and then we'll grab some scriptures, and we'll close it out. Welcome to the Surviving End Times channel, where today we're looking at this rare and massive devil comet, which is the size of Mount Everest. It could soon be seen with the naked eye, and this is a rare galactic phenomenon, so to speak, that happens about every 70 years. So it may soon be visible here as it's coming up on perihelion with the sun, and it's also going to be doing this right around the exact same time of this upcoming solar eclipse. The solar eclipse in itself, very interesting in forming the second leg of a massive X over the United States seven years after the last eclipse event that took place over the United States. This comet, having very interesting features, it has flared up here recently. They don't know why, but they suspect it's because of ice volcanoes. If this object is indeed a comet, it takes me back to Comet Ison and all the speculation of Oumuamua that went by that they later admitted was cylindrical in shape, metallic in nature, and it picked up speed and lifted off up out of here after it passed Earth. Will this has some crazy stuff with it, only time will tell. But they're saying that here soon, you could potentially see this with the naked eye and definitely see this with binoculars in the backyard. Here is a shot over on the sky live, and you can see what this is going to look like. We'll take this up to the eighth. Right there, you can see how close this is going to be in the sky to the sun during the eclipse, and it's also going to have Jupiter and Uranus right next to it coming together, which is also going to be a really looking like a bright object in the sky right next to it. So setting up to be an interesting set of celestial events going down on the 8th, and around that time, if you guys get any good shots, let me know, dabu7 at yahoo.com. All right, so there you have it. All right, that was Davu 7. Uh, I got this article I want to read. And, you know, America is through, man. All right, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, is about to make his return. All the signs are here, man. All the signs at the end are here. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi, Yahweh Shai, we are at the end of this thing, man. All right, so let me pull up, pull up Blue Letter Bible real quick. And uh, the first scripture I want to go to before I grab this article is Luke 21 and verse 11, right? Get this big. All right, Luke 21 and verse 11. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start at verse 10. And the subheading is things to come, all right? And we know that our Lord is close, man. All right, we're coming into the time of the Passover. Uh, the Passover is this Saturday at evening, which will be uh, March 23rd at evening. 
will bring us into the Passover, uh, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And, you know, things can pop off. There's a lot of signs in the heaven that's coming around at this time. And a lot of things in general are happening right now, entering into the Passover. All right. And this very well could be our last year here. This could be the year of Jacob's trouble as the elder apostle to hard deem this year, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right. So we're getting close, brothers. All right. We're getting close. So continue to pray, continue to fast and continue to watch. All right. So the subheading is things to come, Luke 21. It says, Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. All right, we see all these nations rising against each other on earth. Okay, biblical prophecies unfolding. And the end of all of this is the utter destruction of mystery, Babylon the Great, America. Okay, and you got these uh, eclipses that are taking place that made an X over America. Uh, seven years seven years ago, you had one one way over America. Now we, we're having another way that creates an X with these eclipses. All right, because this place is through the Lord is is Xing this place out, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. All right. So it says, um, verse eleven, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. All right, now let me do something real quick. Let me type in um, how many earthquakes? How many earthquakes in twenty twenty four? Wow! Look at this. In twenty twenty four, there were fifty nine thousand five hundred and eighty four quakes of magnitudes up to seven point five. Okay, this year alone, we've had oh, damn near 60,000 earthquakes, All right? And that's one of the signs at the end, All right? It tells you, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. Let's go here real quick. Let me go to the blue letter for diverse places. All right, it says, a place, any portion of space marked off as it were surrounding space, an inhabited place. As a city, village, district, a place, uh, so pretty much all over, okay? In different places, in diverse places, you're having earthquakes taking place, all right? So it says, um, And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. So this is a sign of the end. Okay? These different eclipses that are taking place on this earth are different signs of the end. All right? We're entering into a crazy prophetic times. All right? X marks the spot. Two total solar eclipses in seven years. And I remember in 2017, because this is when I first came into this truth, and I remember seeing this take place, all right? I was fresh into the truth. I've probably been in the truth of two or three weeks at that time, you know, maybe, maybe a, a month or two or whatever. But I remember this event taking place, and now seven years later, with seven marks completion, you have this, uh, another total solar eclipse that is crossing out America, man. They go cross, cross past. All right. So these are signs in the heavens, man, that the Lord warned us for. All right. So real quick, this is another article. It says, brace yourself for the devil comment during the Purim blood moon eclipse. It says, during the next couple of months, so many amazing things are going to happen in the heavens. All right. And Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai told us this. So we're, we're at the end, all right, the end of the end, all right, the end of Esau's world. And while I said that, let me go ahead and grab a scripture. Let's go to uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 5. It says, for like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And real quick, let me do this real quick. I want to see what that says in the GNT, 2 Ezra 
nine, nine, five, GMT. It says, uh, the beginning and the end of everything that happens in this world are clear. Okay, so everything's being made clear. And what is clear now is that we're at the end. All right. So back to this article, it says, during the next couple of months, so many amazing things are going to happen in the heavens. For example, during the great American eclipse of 2024 on April 8th, the sun, the moon, and the seven other planets in our solar system will all line up in the sky. It is almost as if the entire solar system will be screaming that this is a once-in-a-lifetime event, okay? Because this is a rare event, and this is really the deal. This is the working of Yahweh Bashmi Shai doing what? Showing fearful sights and great signs that there shall be from heaven, okay? Concerning the end times. All right. It says, but before we get to April 8th, there will be some other absolutely incredible things happening in the skies above our heads. On March 25th, which will be during the time of Passover, like I said, uh, March 23rd brings us into the Passover this Saturday. So during the time of the Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, we will witness a penumbral lunar eclipse. Since so much attention has been focused on the great American eclipse of 2024 on April 8th, this other eclipse has kind of snuck up on us. All right, and this is, like I said, this is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai showing signs in the heaven. All right, it says, on top of everything else, this blood moon eclipse also coincides with Purim. All right, which we know that. Um, you know, that, that's the uh, the date for the, the ish people. All right. Now, real quick, let me see if I got this. All right. Um, the real the real date of the Purim is going to be February 10th at evening through February 12th at evening. Okay. So this isn't the real date of the Purim, but this is what the, the, the ish people. Okay. But this blood moon will take place during the Passover. Okay? So it says, um, let's see. I think that's pretty much it on that. Well, real quick. It says, um, according to space.com, the comment, oh, wait. Okay, uh, we also know that in late March, the Devil Comet, <laughs> what a name, right? The Devil Comet, and we know that Esau, Edom, the Devil is ruling the earth today. It says, late March, the Devil Comet will be racing through the sky as this blood moon eclipse is happening. <laughs> so as this uh, is blood moon eclipse is happening, you're going to have the Devil Comet flying by. I mean, we are clearly at the end, Okay. The banks are crashing, all right? We have the digital currency set in place. The market of beast is here. We see the tension with Russia and America. We see all these other nations getting ready for war. World War III is about to take place. We're waiting on really like, what, three major prophecies. Uh, Jacob's trouble, the market of beast, and World War III. And then ultimately, Yahweh Shai coming back and delivering the elect and destroying this place known as America. All right, so it says, in fact, it is being reported that it is possible that this comet could be visible to the naked eye at that time. Look up into the sky this month and you'll see get a glimpse of a massive comet that could be visible to the naked eye. So what do you got I say? You know, um, lift up your heads, you know, because redemption draweth not. All right, let's go to Luke 21. And 28, real quick, it says, And when these things begin to come to pass, the prophecies, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Another, another great sighting we're seeing is a lot of UFOs. 
which are the chariots, the angels, all right? I just got a news break just now. It says, map shows warnings for people to stock up on food ahead of solar eclipse. And we know that these heathens are, are shaking up, man, all right? And they're going to be even more shaken up when they see what's really about to take place on this earth. When Yahweh Shai invades this earth. All right. But Yahweh Shai, he said, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up. Okay. So we got to continue to look up in the skies, man. You know, and don't be dismayed. You know, just, uh, you know, give praise. We give praise to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. But we, we understand that this is all signs in the heavens. It says, lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Our redemption is near. Salvation is nearer than what we can believe, man. And the Lord is showing us all the signs. Okay, and it's beautiful, man. All right, all praises to you. How about Shai? Let's go back to 2nd Ezra 9 in the GNT. Verse 1, it says, He answered, Consider all these things very carefully. When you see that some of the signs that I have told you about have appeared, okay, we're seeing that. We're seeing all the signs, man. This is exci exciting. Okay, we could be out of here this year, brothers. We don't got another 20, 30, 40 years here, man. All right, now obviously we're in this thing for the long haul, no matter what. But the way things are looking, comparing, you know, the, you know, watching the signs, we don't have much longer here, man. All right, Lord willing, this be the year. But it says, when you see that some of the signs that I have told you about have appeared, you will know that the time has come when the Most High will bring judgment on the world He has created. So what's coming next after all these signs? Judgment. Mass death, plagues, famine. Okay? It says there will be earthquakes, national rebellions, international intrigues, unstable leaders. <laughs> I mean, if Biden isn't the most unstable leader on the planet, I don't know who is. All right. God can't even formulate a, a sentence. You know, dude shits himself on stage. But it says um, international intrigues, unstable leaders and confused rulers. When you see these things happening, you will know that they are what God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, has spoken about since the beginning of creation. The beginning and end of all of everything that happens in this world are clear. The same is true in the world above. Wonders and miracles show the beginning of events and mighty signs show how when they end. Okay, and mighty signs show when they end. So the Lord has always dealt with showing signs and wonders. Okay, and we're seeing all these signs at the end. Okay. Which is through the Spirit, all right? All through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, now let's go to um, the book of Acts, chapter 2. Acts, chapter 2, and verse 19. All right, it says, um, I'll start at 17. It says, and it shall come to pass in the last days, which we're living in the last days, and it's clear, saith God, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. That's why you have all these different people on earth of all nations having dreams and visions of nuclear warfare, okay, of the Messiah returning. It says, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. You have people having prophetic dreams and telling telling their dreams. And then also you have the servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai on the street corners prophesying. Okay? And that, that's a sign. Okay? Yahweh Shai said there should be no sign but the prophet Jonas. The, 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 the prophets are a sign that we're at the end. Let me grab that. Matthew uh, 12 and 39. Uh, 
uh, I'm going to get it in the NLT. It says, but Yahweh Shah replied, only an evil, adulterous generation would demand a miraculous sign. But the only sign I will give them is the sign of the prophet Jonah. Just going to show that the prophets and themselves being on the street corners is a sign. Okay, that we're at the end. Right? So back to, back to Acts chapter 2 and verse 19. He says, and I will show wonders in heaven above. So Yahweh Shemi Shai said he would do this, that there would be different uh, eclipses, blood moons, you know, comets, you know, uh, different signs in the heavens. And so this is all the, the doings of Yahweh Shemi Shai. He says, and I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. And we're seeing all that. He says, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. <laughs> We're coming into a blood moon, right? And there's been solar eclipses and lunar eclipses, all right? It says, before that great and notable day of Yahweh shall I come, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh shall, shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. So this message is to the Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that you have to call on the name. As the scriptures say, the elect shall praise his holy name. Not everybody's going to have the names of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad, man. A lot of people are, are calling on false names. All right? So as you see, more signs in the heaven, okay, Get ready for more signs in the heavens. Uh, with that, Lord willing, it was edifying to hopeful elect. Call Lord Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. Until next time, I say Shalom.